Handy Hut tonight here. If you've ever stripped out a screw or a bolt or broken off a bolt and had trouble getting it out, I'm going to show you a tool today, and this is actually the first time that I have used it, to see if it can get out a stripped screw. And you'll see my screw right here. It's stripped out in this board, and I'm going to demonstrate either how well this works or how well it does not work. And I'm going to get into it right after this. I was sent this tool by a company. It's called Work EUG, and you see it comes in this, uh, this sleek plastic package where it houses all the different bits here and I will explain these bits here in just a minute but I wanted to say first that this is a situation that can be really frustrating I've had it happen to me several times working on cars even doing projects around the house where you get a screw like mine here where it's stripped out and you have to get it out for whatever reason I've had it happen when I was working on the engine of my car and the bolt stripped it actually broke off because I tightened it too hard so I needed a way to get it off now like I mentioned in the intro this is a tool that I was sent recently I have not used it so we'll see how well it does do with getting out this simple screw so this is nothing big it's just a standard uh, screw it probably only about an inch long so not a real long one so what we have here in the tool is we have bits. We have this row and this row, and these are different. The way you extract a screw or a bolt is you wanna first drill into the top of it and create a good uh, hole, uh, a good, a good um, impression so that it can be pulled out with these bits here. So these are the drill bits. This is what you drill into the top of the bolt or the screw, and there's various sizes depending on the size of the, uh, the head of the screw or the bolt that you're working with. You also have this uh, magnetic extension so that you can seat uh, the bits in here. Now, um, what we see here is there's some larger bits, so this half of the row of the bits will fit directly in here. The smaller ones will have to use a further adapter to go into the end of this, this other one. So that's something to note. So back here in this back row are the actual uh, bits that you will use to get the screw or the bolt out. When we use these, we're gonna have to put the drill or your impact drill in reverse to get the, uh, the bolt or the screw out. When you're drilling into it, you wanna be drilling forward or you wanna be drilling uh, clockwise. When you're pulling it out, you wanna do it the opposite way, counterclockwise. So let's see if we can get this out. I'll be using my impact drill here, right, impact driver rather. And let's see if we can find one that is similar in size. Um, you just might have to experiment to see what's going to work when it comes to getting this, uh, this out. I guess we could try this one first. I need to get my adapter, put it in my impact driver here. We'll set this off to the back and I've got it set to go forward or clockwise. Uh, and it fell out. So I think the uh, the magnetic holder in here uh, actually fell out. So I'll have to put that back in. Let's... Recreating here a, a hole of sorts so that we can get the uh, the other bit in it to pull it out. And I might be using one that is a little too wide. So let's get our other 
So this is the adapter that we'll need to put in to get this smaller bit. And again, I'm drilling a hole into it. Okay, looks like we've got a decent size hole in there. Now what you want to do is you want to find the bit over here that's essentially the same size. At least to try for first. We'll still need that adapter. Now I'm going to need to switch my impact driver in reverse. And let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to need to get one that's larger. Uh, let's go up two sizes, so we won't need that. Let's go up two sizes and see what that does. Look at that. Took it right out. So you're going to want you're going to want uh, a bit that's larger than the one you drilled into, just so it can get some grip. So I went up, uh, I think I went up two or three sizes on this and it took it right out. Now I mentioned earlier, so here's my adapter. You always want to make sure to put your your parts, your bits back in where they were so you don't lose them. I did mention earlier that the, uh, the magnetic piece that uh, holds your bits in did fall out on me, but that could easily be put back in. Um, or glued in. I'm not sure where that went. But as you can see, that was uh, almost effortless in getting that uh, screw out. And you can see that that's, um, that's pretty stripped out. So it did a great job of, of getting that out. So uh, a thumbs up on this. Obviously, you wanna, I want to encourage you to give it a try to all your different screws and bolts and see what you think. There is a link in the description where you can purchase this on Amazon. And I appreciate you watching today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hudsonite, for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. And make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can get up-to-date content from me. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.